I want to give you guys my college football week one picks against the spread, man. We're starting off with my beloved Miami Hurricanes playing against Miami of Ohio. Will the real Miami please stand up? Please stand up. Miami is going to beat Miami of Ohio. And I don't think it's going to be close. They're a 17-point favorite. They should cover that. They made a lot of changes on their offense. They're going to be running the air race style offense. Tyler Van Dyke was one of the best upcoming quarterbacks in college football prior to last season. But the whole entire coaching staff just kind of let him down. Mario Cristobal made up for it with their new OC who comes from Houston. And they also got a new defensive coordinator as well. Miami of Ohio, uh, I don't really think they're that talented, but we'll see. But I like Miami to cover. I don't really think this game should be close. If this game is close, it will be extremely alarming. Louisville, I think they're going to be able to have their way against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech will have a new head coach, new quarterback. But I just don't think that Georgia Tech is that good, man. I still think they're one of the worst teams in the ACC. Iowa is going up against Utah State. Their defense is so good that I don't really think Utah State is going to be able to do anything offensively. Even if Iowa's offense still is crappy like what it was last year, they should still be able to skate by Utah State. Michigan, 36 and a half against Eastern Carolina. I, I think they can cover that. I know this concerns about Jim Harbaugh not being there, but Eastern Carolina isn't going to be able to match up with the physicality and raw power that Michigan has. Michigan should be able to have this game over by halftime. They may not cover by halftime, but they probably should cover before the fourth quarter. Eastern Carolina, I just think they're just going to get out-athleted, out physical. There's no reason they should hang around with Michigan. Purdue against Fresno. I like Purdue. I think that Purdue has, with a new head coach, even though they're going to have a new quarterback, um, Hudson Carter is really solid. I think that he's going to have enough talent around him that Fresno State shouldn't be able to win this game. I like Purdue to be able to win this game outright and cover. Tennessee is a 28-point favorite against Virginia. I like them to have this game out of reach by halftime. Virginia is one of the worst teams in all of Power 5. I mean, they got awful. They got so many concerns at Virginia, man. Everywhere. Everywhere. Tennessee, Joe Milton, that offense should be looking like it was last year, at least in this game. SMU is playing Louisiana Tech. I like SMU. SMU is one of the best teams. When it comes to G5 programs going into this season, Rhett Lashley got some really talented players out of the transfer portal. They got a really good quarterback. SMU, I think they may give Oklahoma a little bit of a battle. Of course, I like Colorado. They're massive underdogs against TCU. People are massively overlooking the quarterback differential in this game Shadura Sanders is way better than Chandler Morris this game shouldn't really be a blowout Colorado should be able to hang around with TCU TCU they got a really veteran defense okay their defense has a lot of experience and it does have a good amount of talent but they only return three starters from last year's offense Colorado has a lot of talent at wide receiver a lot of depth Oh, McCaskill at running back, this dude was a 16-touchdown dude his true freshman season at Houston. He didn't play last year because he got injured before the season, but he's fully healthy now. Look out for him in this game. I like Colorado to cover, and I also like them to be able to win this game outright, even though it's on the road. Iowa State is playing Northern Iowa. I don't really know. I like Iowa, but they... Man, they got some concerns at quarterback because their quarterback was gambling. So he got some discipline. Northern Iowa, though, I don't really think they should be able to keep up with Iowa State. Even if this game is close, I think Iowa State just has a better team. Ohio State is a 29.5 point favorite against Indiana. They're going to have a new quarterback, but they just got so much talent. Indiana, they're just a mess. Their head coach is probably going to end up getting fired. 
at the end of this season. Wisconsin against Buffalo. I like Wisconsin. I like Washington to cover 14 and a half against Boise State. Western Kentucky goes up against South Florida. I like Western Kentucky. They got a really good quarterback and receiver duo. South Florida, they're still a program that's rebuilding. They got a new head coach there. Cal, I like them against North Texas. Cal did utilize the transfer portal pretty heavy. They did lose their starting quarterback, but I do think that they have enough talent that they should be able to take care of North Texas. Houston versus UTSA. I like UTSA. UTSA just is a way better team than Houston. Houston does have some firepower on offense, but their defense is absolutely terrible. Toledo against Illinois. Illinois should take care of business. They should be able to take care of Toledo, even though Toledo was a really good team last year in terms of where they ranked in MAC play. But Illinois just is way too good up front on the offensive line and the defensive line. I don't think this game is going to be really close. It's not going to be one of those games that, you know, it's going to be a blowout at halftime. Just do the Illinois style of play. Illinois is one of those teams that is run heavy. They want to take a lot of time off the clock. They want to wear you down over the course of the game. So this is probably going to be a 31-0 victory. It's not going to be a 63-0 showing, but I think Illinois should win this game. Probably 38-14 to 14 is my final score prediction. I'm like, I, I love Penn State over West Virginia, man. West Virginia is not looking good for those boys up there. I love South Carolina against North Carolina. North Carolina is not a good team. They're so Drake May dependent. And even though Drake May can keep them in this game because Drake May, the gap between him and Kayla Williams is not that big. He's crazy. He He's ridiculous. All right. Kayla Williams, he's he's freaking insane. But Drake May, he he's like that too. And if... UNC can give him good protection in this game and he plays his best football. North Carolina is going to have a shot. But I'm really surprised that they're a favorite in this game. South Carolina just has the better overall team. Their offensive line probably is a concern, but I think they should have that figured out. Their offensive line has been down for the last couple of years. Shane Beamer is a really good coach, though. And Beamer Ball. It is something that I don't think UNC is prepared for. You remember, South Carolina, they was on the tear the last couple of games of last season. They ended Tennessee's playoff hopes. Spencer Rattler was on fire in that game. Their defense was lights out against Clemson. I mean, like, their special teams is really good. Well, I won't say their defense was lights out against Clemson, but their defense did make some big plays in certain games and I think with how good their secondary can be this year amongst the best in the SEC I don't think that North Carolina is going to be able to get enough key stops on defense in order to stop South Carolina's offense so I like South Carolina give me Texas Tech over Wyoming I love Tulane over South Alabama UCLA versus Coastal Carolina is a really interesting game Coastal Carolina does have Grayson McCall, and they do have a pretty solid team, and they could be starting Dante Moore. I'll take Coastal to be able to cover. UCLA probably will win, but they got Dante Moore at QB. Maybe he has some groin pains. I don't know if he is going to be the starter, but most people expect him to start. Rutgers against Northwestern. I'm taking Rutgers. Northwestern isn't good, and they got a new head coach. And anytime you got to name an interim head coach on a short notice like how Northwestern did, normally they end up not being that good. Oregon State over San Jose State. Their defense is so phenomenal. Florida State, I'm taking them to be able to beat LSU. They're just a better team than LSU, in my opinion. Not by a huge margin, but with the guys they picked up in the transfer portal, I don't think that LSU is going to beat Florida State. I think FSU takes two straight over them. Give me Clemson over Duke. I do think they can cover. I think that Duke can keep it within 
two touchdowns, but I think it'll probably be like 14 points. I think that Clemson's defense is so good that I don't really think that Duke is going to have enough talent offensively, even though they do got a really good quarterback. Duke's defense, I don't know how they're going to match up against Clemson. I think that Clemson just overall being a more talented team, they're going to get the best of Duke. So I think that Clemson can win that game 31-17. to Give me Clemson to cover so, I got to predict some scores for these games. I like Florida State, 34-31. LSU, Clemson, Duke, 31-17. Who will score the most points this week? Man, I probably got to go Tennessee. Tennessee or Michigan probably is where I'm going to go. I'll probably go Tennessee because Virginia, those boys suck. And their defense is not going to be good. They have no talent on that side of the ball. They're lacking depth. Or oh, who has scored the fewest points this week? Going Virginia, man. That, that, that game is going to be a slaughter fest. ECU, they might be able to get like a fluke touchdown off a return or something. But I'm going with Virginia. Where is Virginia? There they go. Oh, that Virginia. All right. So these are my college football week one picks against the spread. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. We're going to revisit this next week.